and welcome back to another video. This is one, this is an add-on I've wanted to do for a little while. And because my previous video plan fell through, I was like, yeah, might as well uh, buy this and uh, look into it. Uh, because it actually is pretty cool idea in my opinion. Uh, also, don't, uh, when you do download this, the book's not going to look like this. This is because I've got a 3D item. Uh, Texture pack on and some items are 3D, so if I just get like a regular book, it's also 3D, but a different colour. That's why. So if you download the add-on and then notice books different, that's right. So don't just come complain to me. It's like, oh the box is different. What did it do? Anyway. Um So Mob Armor tutorial book. Welcome to the tutorial book of the uh, Mob Armor add-on. Here you'll find the basics of all the armors. Introduction. In order to craft the armor, you'll need the key item of each armor and a mob essence bottle. Example. Gunpowder is a key item and a mob essence to make the creeper armor. Mob essence. A bottle is crafted the following way. A glass bottle, a gunpowder, a feather, a bone and a string. So, do I have any glass bottles? They'd probably be in crafting materials if I do. Yes, I do. Hold on. Boom. And I'm going to turn that off. The click into it get annoying. So, there was a glass bottle. Gunpowder, feathers, bones, and string. 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 Gunpowder, feathers. Come on then, Lily. Gunpowder, feathers, bones, and string. And string. There we go. I can also see there is unlocked a bunch of like crafting recipes. So, oh wait, here we go. More essence. Yeah, pretty simple. Now we've got 18 more essences. Uh, I'm just gonna give. Wait, no, 18. Yeah, 18. So, give. Let's people. Last bottle. So I want 64 of them. And 64 minus 18 is. That's 56. 46. Oh yeah, I was like, quick mass off the top of my head. Boom. Night. So now we got a bunch of mob essences. How to craft the armor. Each armor is crafted like the Minecraft vanilla ones with the addition of the mob essence item. So you have the key item of the mob loot and the essence bottle. Like the leggings, a chest plate. Leggings. Wait, leggings? Oh, helmet, not leggings. What? Anyway, leggings, boots. So, list of key items. Axolotl armor. Cod. I don't have any cod. I have any be in this chest. Because that's food. I have cooked salmon and raw salmon, but no cod. So, give at P cod 64. Yeah, we've unlocked the axolotl armor. So helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. So let me take off my elemental armor. And put on the axolotl armor. Now I'm gonna, hold on. It doesn't, hold on, let me switch skins real quick as it's not really working well with the uh, cell skin. Let's do Banjo. Oh no, they are just short. They're meant to be short. Okay. 
There it is working perfectly fine with the cell skin. That's a bit odd. Having them be like shorts instead of. Anyway, it kind of looks, yeah. Kind of looks like that, isn't it? Anyway. So, let's just dump the cod in there. It's giving me water breathing by the looks of it. Let's see. Uh, it's not really telling you what... Uh, there we go, armor abilities. So Axolotl Armor gives you the ability to breathe underwater and a bonus of speed effect when swimming. Armor low, durability medium. So yeah, not a lot of armor from this. Mind you, it's only crafted with card. Mind card so it's not super expensive. Do yeah. Uh do some so it gives you speed effect when you're in water as well. Oh and it's night time and it's raining, I'm just asleep real quick. Come on then Lily, silly dog. Come on. Good girl. Oh okay. Uh, bubbles. Oh there's Bubbles following me as well. Bubbly bubbly boo. And I got regen effects. For some, oh, probably my. Uh, yeah, my beacon. Anyway, that's the axe a lot. I love the little potion effects as well. So I'm just gonna put the axe lot armor. In there. Next up is the armor. Oh. Which gives you protection to fall damage as well as uh, poisoning the enemy when they're getting attacked. Note, not all mobs are affected by poison. Armor medium, durability medium. So B armor needs honeycomb. Honey. I think it's 24 you need to be make one full armor set. Oh this is it. So this looks cool. And boots, yeah, I was perfectly right. Well, I'm also going to move these down so they're not messing up. Boom, 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 boom. Also, I like the mob essence, the look of the mob essence. So, oh, let's go into F5 and have a look at the beat. Oh, this is cool though. Oh, I should have done it with the Axos Llama. But yeah, this, is, this looks cool. So this means I can take fall damage. So if I TP at P, with, with, uh, I can just do tab, wiggle, tab, 500, tab. We oh yeah, it's slow fall, giving me slow falling. No full damage for me. Okay, that is cool. I do, I do like the B armor, and it does actually give a decent amount of uh, uh, armor as well. So yeah, B armor, pretty good. Are you? It's a bit more um, difficult to get than the uh, the lost one because you have to get the bees, and you have to get a campfire, and then you have to like shear them to get the honeycomb. It is a bit more expensive, but I do like it, and it looks cool. Oh, let me get let me get to the axolotl armor and check out the axolotl armor in F5 because I didn't. I really should have done that, but I didn't. Yeah, here we go, axolotl armor. Oh yeah, that is cool. Doesn't look as cool as a B one in my opinion, but it's still I like it. I've got to take the armor off.
I'm just going to set that going. Alright, next up is the blaze armor, which requires blaze rewards. Fire resistance, armor, medium durability high, so that's 24 blaze rods. They'll be in there. Yeah. Four. 24 blaze rods. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh, okay. Not such a big fan of the face, but I do like the spinny, the blaze rod spinning around you. Yeah, that is cool. It doesn't, it gives you more armor than it looks like, though. And then if I just like summon a blade real quick, some blaze. Go on, hit me with fire. Go on, set me on fire. You know, he's just hitting me. Ooh. He, they do a lot of damage when they just hit you. Okay, come on. You missed. You're useless. Hold on. Go away. I'm gonna just go stand in this fire. Yep, yeah, I'm immune to fire. Nice. Uh, I'm also very damaged. And it also gives you like fire particles around, yeah. If you, yeah, you can see that fire particle following me around. That's cool. Yeah, pretty good. Um, again, the face could use with some work, but it looks cool. And that's a decent thing, like, if you're going into the Nether, I would very much recommend uh, using that armor. Uh, oh yeah, we need to move on to the next one. Just had a bit of a brain fart there. Uh, so I need to play uh, chicken armor, requires feathers. I guess in the chicken armor gives you slow fall and gives you resistance to fall damage as well. As a special ability, special ability, sneak to receive speed, a speed boost that can only uh, be Used each 15 seconds. Armor low, durability low. Yeah. I mean, it's only feathers, and I have a basic chicken farm, and. Oh, no, that's chicken. That's not feathers. The feathers are in the feather chest. And I. There we go. Just need 24. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh, I went through the fist, Dakar. More sense. So now I'm a chicken man. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it look yeah, it looks like it gives you yeah, it doesn't give you much protection and it doesn't look like it gives you much, but yeah, it gives you slow falling when you teleport it up and you have like yeah. magician. I'm a chicken. All slow. And I'm the piranha. I like fall. Where's Lily disappeared off to? Ah, oh, she's in the bed. Yeah, there are better armors if you want, like, no fall damage, like, um, the bee armor. That was, that did, had, like, better durability on my armor, but this is easier to get. Here we go. I laid an egg! <laughs> okay, they didn't mention that you could lay eggs. Abilities on cooldown. Yeah, control cooldown. 
Would well, it be nice if it told you how much longer it was on cooldown? Oh, there we go, got speed. Only gave you speed for a few sec. Gave me speed for a few seconds there. Cooldown's a bit long for how little speed you actually get. Alright, next up. Is the creeper armor gives you a special ability. Special ability sneak to place an explosive TNT under you can only be used every 15 seconds. High armor, high durability. So that's going to be gunpowder. We already know that. So we need 24 gunpowder. 22. Three, four. Did I not put that egg in the thing or did I lay another egg? Just wanna put it through the system. Egg. Head, shoulders, knees and twos. Oh yeah. This, this is cool armor. Oh, and it's almost as good as diamond. I'll just turn it off real quick. As it sometimes makes, can I go? Let it go into unloaded chunks. So, let me just get my morph gauntlet. And, uh, cat. Okay. Oh! Stupid me. <laughs> Shit, I sh Ah, wait, how? Oh, it's too dear, isn't it? Okay. Um. Yeah, shift, it placed the TNT F. <laughs> ah! Oh, well, that's. Is that. Oh, that's probably just regular TNT, but it seemed. The explosion seemed bigger. Um, so yeah, that's going to be more stuff to fix between videos. And, because, and it killed me because I only had a very few hearts. Oh, no, wait. Am I still a cat? I'm not even a... I guess it must have killed me before I got changed into a cat. Yeah, you really sorry that you just placed the lockdown. I'm just gonna go over here. Uh, but yeah, the prequel armor. Uh, you are gonna forget that about the ability at some point and accidentally blow everything up. But yeah, it is cool. I'm gonna take it off before I blow everything up. Just sorted out, it's gonna be annoying later, but anyway, yeah, cool armor. Be careful to not explode everything. So, what's after creeper? Blaze chicken. Oh. That's not even in order. So, B chicken. Bee. Oh, yeah, Ender Dragon. Gives you the ability to fly, look up to go, go up and down to go down, high armor, high durability, and to craft the Ender Dragon, you need Eyes of Ender. Which is simples. Yeah, in that chest. Oh, I don't have enough Ender Pills. Uh, and I only need, so if it's 22, so that's 11. I need. There we go. Give that P and uh, L 
24. I need two more blades. It's not 22, I need is 24. Now, I, oh, I need to use ender pills for the enderman set. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And more TNT, does that give me another book because that's still a thing for them for some reason. Head, toes, shoulders, knees. Oh yeah, full diamond armor's worth. And you can fly into the sky. The only problem with it is that can't really fly horizontally, you have to keep going up. I think you could combine this with an elytra. And then go down. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, really cool. Hold on, we need to check this out in F5. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. This looks cool. I would appreciate it if it, like, looked to, like if it was, like, if there's like more to it, like there's not much of the armor there and it looks and it, so it doesn't look like it protects as much as it does. It looks like it's a bit more flimsy like the chicken armor. So it could definitely do being a bit more bulked out, but it does look cool. Guess up it next up is the Enderman set, which is gonna need ender pills. Chicken, and the dragon, and the man armor gives you speed and a special ability. Special ability: sneak to teleport to a random location there you can. You, yeah, so high armor, high durability. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Anyway, I'm an endyman. Yeah, I have speed! And if I shift, I teleport! Well, that's actually a fair distance! I was expecting it to be a bit more uh, underwhelming the distance you teleport, but no! Uh, after seeing some of the other. Oh! We're all the way back here now. Also, I think the KOs are trying to kill my chickens. Yeah, anyway. But yeah, it's cool. Let's check it out in F5. Yeah, it's kind of basic looking, but it, yeah, it, you do look a bit like an Enderman. My cells are just peek out of the bottom of it, though. Anyway. Into the uh, sorting system you go. Next up is the glow squid armor. Gives you a night vision and the ability to breathe underwater. Glow squid. I'm guessing that's glowing. Glow. Inks at 24. Yep. Hey, shoulders, knees, and shoes. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, again, a fairly basic armor set. Decent uh, 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 armor job uh, protection there. You get night vision, you get water breathing. You don't get speed on the water one like the axolotl one. But night vision and water even is really nice, especially if you're going to be doing uh, stuff underwater.
be a decent set of armor. And I'm out of mob essence. If I run out, I'll just give myself some more because I don't have enough resources to make an entire stack more. After glow squid, it, squid is iron golem. Gives you resistance effect, very strong, high armor and high durability. I'm guessing that's just iron? Oh, no, it's iron blocks, I think. Oh no, hold on. Oh yeah, I think it is actually iron blocks. Which makes sense. So, so if I want 24, and yeah, 24. There you go. Head, shoulders, knees. Oh, I can just do that there. Knees and toes. Oh, well, this is actually cool. You do actually look like a small lion golem. And you get resistance. Yeah, cool. Have I gone too far? Low squid, iron golem. Yeah. So if I some zom... If I summon a zombie... Oh wait. Damn it. I'm not doing you. Oh yeah, you're doing like very little damage. So I say this is probably about like unenchanted. I'd say it's probably with the resistance, it's probably like about as good as uh, diamond armor. And, I, and as I said in like the combined ores uh, review, uh, having resistance on armor is really good. Good, so that is a, yeah, that is definitely a high recommendation for me. Well, it also does use iron blocks, so it is quite expensive though. But yeah, still pretty good. I'd say it's well balanced. Skeleton, uh, you do 25% more dance t damage to enemies using arrows. Oh, low armor, medium durability. So I'm guessing that's just 24 bones. Yep, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Toes, there we go. Run the fish. F5. Uh, this does look cool. Doesn't look, it doesn't make you look like a skeleton, but it does make you look like you are like. It does look like bone armor, not so much skeleton armor. It says you do like more damage with a bow, so it will with arrows give a P bow. I'm gonna give myself a bow and arrow sixty-four. I think you could probably get them from which as well, I'm a bit lazy. So let's some bill. So with the armor, it's... Oh, I missed. One. Two. Two shots with an unenchanted bow with the armor. Without the armor. One. Two. Three. So yeah. 
Uh, it does uh, increase damage by like a third, I think. Well, how much does it say? Twenty-five. Yeah. So I was uh, I was a bit off there. Twenty-five percent instead of three percent. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it does make a, a decent difference. I also accidentally destroyed that. I really should have cleaned this up after that review. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, and I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I would say definitely uh, wear this if you're like going to be doing like some like uh, like red mate like do, doing a challenge where you're only like doing like using like bow and arrow, arrows or crossbows. I how much damage you could do with like a crossbow with. Uh, piercing, quick, uh, quick charge, and the, the instant damage arrows. Oh, does hmm, that's a question. Do, does it affect tip towers? I'm gonna guess no because it just says using arrows. It doesn't say tip towers, so I'm gonna. Is there a crossbow? Yeah, yes. River to uh, I want inst insta damage so game mode one inst instant damage two zero so summon a villager hold on. Get rid of that with a Oh come on, don't make this difficult on me. One two. So that took two hits. And now if I get to that skeleton uh the bone arm, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not made its way through by the looks of it. Which is annoying. There's the iron golem. Oops. Now where's the skeleton? Yeah, I'm not wearing it. Yeah, no, I'm not wearing it. I definitely took it off. Come on. It does take a while for everything to get all the way down here. Come on! Yes, I should be here soon, hopefully. Come on! Insane from waiting. Come on. I'm just going to give myself it. Yeah. 
Cal. Right, now I'm going to summon a villager real quick. So I don't think it does increase the damage that tip towers do. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure that would have been a one shot. There. Yeah. Right. Now back to this way to do it. Uh, oh, we just did. Ah, uh, yes, it was panda, so I think it's a bit like bamboo. 24 bamboo. Yep. 24 bamboo. Head. Head, shoulders, knees, and shoes. Oh, I got higher particles around me. I do look. Yeah, you did. This is definitely that. Like, you look like Panda. Oh, and it slows me. I've got to read what it does. Oh, wait, now I've gone too far. Skeleton. Panda, here we go. Gives you a regeneration effect, but you'll move slower. Medium armor, medium durability. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. You can sort of like mitigate it a bit by jumping, but. Oh my god, the slowness is annoying. Regen is nicer, but the slowness... Next up is Spider. Gives you the ability to jump higher. And I'm guessing that's just 24 string. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Mm -hmm. F5. You've got that little eye. Um, spider arms coming off the back. Oh, that is cool. That, yeah, that is definitely a cool arm um, set. And, yeah, it makes you jump higher. Oh, that is a deep. I think that's two and a half blocks, isn't it? of jump. Alright, so this area here is three blocks tall. So I don't think we'll be able to jump up here. Oh no, we were, it's three blocks jump. Okay, that is nice. Three whole blocks, yeah, that is definitely worth it. Yeah, decent harm. Yeah, ah, this is actually cool. Like, not at least for like traversal it is like definitely worth it because having a two like having a two block jump is nice, but having a three block jump is really nice. So if you don't have enough iron to make the iron golem set, I'd probably recommend that as well. All the skeleton set, because that was if you're using your view. Uh just did spider, now I want a villager, gives you a hero of the village. And gets a nice 24 four emeralds. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Yeah. One, two, three. Boom. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes.
Yeah. It looks like... Okay, th yeah, this is cool. It is like villager armor. Of course, you gotta get here over the village. Now we do set the cost of uh, items when you're training villagers, which is always nice. Decent, yeah, and it's pretty decent armor. A little bit worse than diamond. Not much to say about it. Definitely... Um... Something you should make and also have on the side for like your trading hall. So when you do some trading, you just put down and uh, trade away. By the villager, warden armor gives you strength effects, but you'll move slower. Uh, high armor and high durability. Now what? Uh. Echo shards. Okay. Give up he etch Echo Shard 24. I would say maybe have head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I would say probably have it make it so that you don't get slowness because Echo Shards aren't easy to get. And I don't think it would make it super OP. Oh, it is cool armor though. How oh, are you get these little bubbly effects? Yeah, I think... What's that strength? It, it, oh, it is strength free. Oh, but it is slowness too. Yeah, I think... Well, it is Echo Shards. They are difficult to get. Basically, the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the only way to get Echo Shards is as random loot from uh, End City Chess. So first you got to find the End City. Then you got to go get the Echo Shards and not get killed by the Warden. So I think having it... I would make it like strength 2 without any slowness. Yeah, strength free is nice though, even with that slowness effect, and is at least as good as diamond. Yeah, but also it is as good as diamond. Uh, warden zombie armor. The enemy will receive damage when attacking you. You'll move slower. I'm guessing that's just Ryan Flesh. Uh, where does it have its own chest in it? Might, yes it does. 32... 24. Yep, zombie armor. Uh... No. Shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, you look like a zombie. <sighs> I, I would get rid of the slowness effect, like some zombie. Oh, every time. Uh, yeah, they do take damage, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six hits and they die, and that's the zombies that has 20 health, so 20 divided by six, that's doing about three points of damage, so half and a heart, basically, of damage. Probably run that up to two hearts of damage per hit. Which is nice, but there's just... I don't really see this point in having the slowness effect. Also, something that would be cool is that if you're like wearing a zombie armor, then... And zombie... If you like... Something that would be cool is that if you wear a zombie armor, then zombies won't attack you. And if you like wear creeper armors, then creepers won't attack you. And so, so on and so forth. Like, if you're wearing the armor of the mob, then that mob won't attack you. That would be really cool. Well, unless you attack them first. You know, turn all those mobs neutral. Skeleton, panda, spider, villager, warden. 
So uh, next up is slime. Gives you the ability to jump high. Low armor, medium durability. That's 24 slime balls. Do I have any slime balls? Yeah. Yeah. Do they have their own chest? Yes, they do. I don't even have a slime farm. This is just what I've done manually. I just found a slime chunk, dug a hole. Found the slime chunk and just killed some slimes that spawned. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I need more of that. Give that P mob. One, two, three, sixty-four. I do like the look of this one now. Yeah. But the durability and the uh, armor protection is not very good. It's better to make you jump more than three blocks because if it's just three blocks, then you might as well just buy, uh, not buy, craft the spider armor because it has better protection and it uh, gives you the same jump boost and it's easier to get to a string than it is to get slime. Okay, I think it is, yeah, it is more than three blocks. I think this is, how tall is this one? One, two, three, four, okay. Okay, it's more than four, so this one's five. Okay, five, six. And you don't take any fall damage, so yeah, six blocks jump. Honestly, I would just go with the spider arm if you want uh, extra jump boost, because you don't, you're not really ever going to need to jump up six blocks and not three blocks. Else, and you're not immune to fall damage. I would add the effect to say that you're also like immune to fall damage just because. Or make it so that you bounce when you land. Like landing on a slime block. That'd be cool. Oh, me. Yeah, cool looking armor. Just not really like protective and a bit dubious of like how useful jumping up that many blocks will be. Next up is Witch, gives you a special ability. Special abilities need to do an Area magic attack can only be used every 15 seconds. Armor low, durability medium. So what does the witch armor use? Uh, which, 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 which? Ghast, Sea Turtle, Piglin... Oh, here we go. Which uses redstone? Oh, that's easy peasy. One, two, three, four. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Oh yeah, this is this is a cool arm. I do like this one. You do look like a witch. So if I summon a zombie, if summon my shift, it did a little bit of damage to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, so 13 damage, so 20 minus 13 and 7, so yeah, it did 7 hit points of damage to him. Mm. But yeah, 
it's decent. Like seven hit points. That's a di basically a diamond sword hit every fifteen seconds. Shells, knees, and shoes. Wait, went too far. Witch cast gives you resistance to fall damage. I am. Uh, so I'm guessing now it's going to be gas tears. Oh, yep. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, yeah, you got little gas tentacles. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it has decent armor. What does it do again? Spider Wall and Slang Gast gives you resistance to fall damage. Yeah. TP at P. There, there, 200, there. Ah. Uh, there. There, 200, there. There we go. Demonstrated that. It works. It's pretty cool. The only real complaint is that it's a little bit lackluster. But, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. And you, I would, I, it, it, it should give you, like, strength as well. Because I'm pretty sure, like, Gas Tears is the one that you use to get strength. Hold on. I've got a brewing stand here with the texture part. So gas, no, no, gas tears gives you regen. What gives you strength? Oh, yes, yeah, blaze powder. So maybe it should give you regen then. Ah. Oh. Good. Next up is turtle. Gives you a special ability. Sneak to receive a uh, stronger defense boost for five seconds can only be used for fifteen every fifteen. I am a medium durability. So what does C tit? I'm guessing it's scoot. It's a scoot. Yes, yeah, scoot. Give at P to. One, two, three, twenty-four. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Boom, 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 boom. I made the wrong head. Wait, C Tittle Helm. C Tittle Helm. Tittle, oh no, yeah, no, I did make the right one. Silly me. And then shift. Oh! I can't move. Okay, that's not really useful at all. Oh, I'm still on cooldown, but. If you can if you literally cannot, yeah, if you literally cannot move at all because of slowness 5, then it's not really useful. So then you basically just stand there and take hits, and, and yeah, not really useful. Would not recommend. Because you're going to end up slowing yourself down, and yeah, no, would not recommend that really at all. Looks cool though. Uh, oh, last one's Piglin. Gives you saturation effect to reduce hunger. 
Wait, what? Low armor and low durability. So this better be easy to make then. Gold nook, okay. That is ridiculously easy to make. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. One, two, three. Boom, boom. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh yeah, there's no love armor. And what did it say? Saturation effect. Saturation is nice because it keeps your, your hunger full so you're never going to be hungry so you don't need food. But I don't think that's enough, a good enough effect to sacrifice so much armor and only 100 to 150 durability. Yeah. I would not recommend really at all except for like keeping it around so you can just like stick it on when you're hungry. So you don't have to eat or something, I don't know, but yeah, would not recommend the pickling one. It is cheap as dear to though. Now so I'm gonna test out real quick. In Gimu Drone, real quick. Um which one was my favourite? Let me think. Definitely not that pickling one. Uh he was decent place. And the dragon, let's do the end of the dragon. And the dragon is definitely, in my opinion, the best one in this entire mod pack. And it's because it's not uber expensive, because it's just um, 24 eyes vendor. Which isn't super hard to get if you fa can find like warp forest or are already gone to the end. Two, three, four, and it just has the coolest effects. I do really like this 3D texture pack view. Look at the enchanted book. Right, so I've got enchanted books here with literally every enchantment possible. So let's see if these can be enchanted. Yeah, the head can be enchanted with, but if I switch my news real quick. Aqua Affinity, Thorns, Respiration, Protection, and Breaking and Mending. Chest Blade can be enchanted with Thorns, Protection, and Breaking and Mending. Boots can be enchanted with Death Strider, Thorns, Soul Speed, Feather Falling, Protection, and Breaking and Mending. And leggings can be enchanted with Fawn, Swift Sneak, Protection, and Breaking and Mending. And it's all showing. Like, my only, uh, the only thing I don't like about the Dragon Armor, well, apart from, like, when you fly, you can't really look straight forward. Just, like, fly straight forward, you constantly have to be flying up. Uh, but it's that, um, like I said earlier, it just looks a bit, um, not as protective as it should be. Oh, I am in creative. Forgot about that. But yeah. Um. That's everything in this add on. And yeah, would I recommend getting this? Yeah, it's uh. fun. Oh, it blew up his little area up here. Uh, it is fun. Would, de ha would definitely recommend. Uh, you know, if you uh, like want, uh, you know, some more armors. Um, there's no weapons in it. Uh, like if I put in sword, you just got like vanilla, then the poisonous potato, then the dragon swords, and you got that from there. And you got the combining all sorts. So yeah. Um not super. 
It would be it would be cool if you could get to some cool like mob fiend swords. But yeah, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I would definitely like recommend adding this to uh, your elders realm or server or whatever. If you if you do like a modded playthrough, because yeah, it's a decent like mid early uh, say. Uh. Uh. It's a decent like early to mid game armor. Uh, well, even like the Ender Dragon will do you well like in like the late like, game, but there are better armors that you can get, like the uh, elemental armor. That gives you like all these effects. But yeah, uh, pretty cool add-on. Would, rec would definitely recommend. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next uh, one. And bye-bye.